It's been more than three months since the federal government placed a ban on interstate travels as part of measures to prevent further spread of COVID-19. After exploring different measures, the government has now lifted the restriction from July 1, but within the curfew time. Plus TV Africa, Francis Ugome visited some parks to assess the first day of the easing of lockdown. This is the first day of the easing of the interstate lockdown. And we could see people practicing the social distance and the best measures to be put in place at a time like this. Though there's a low turnout at this moment, but there are hopes that people will begin traveling soon. While Nigerians are still divided on this ease, the interstate park managers could not hide their excitement to be to work at least legitimately. First, we thank God and we are very happy that the interstate ban has been lifted and then everybody is back to business. So you see, as you can see, we've commenced operation. It's a welcome development because we, the interstate owner, interstate business people, they have been affecting us. You know, most of us don't have savings. It's the glory of God that we sustain ourselves. I commend the government, I, at least kudos to them. People are excited, people are excited because some people they have not met with their family since. You can see today is our, it's the first day we have just resumed, so everybody is happy. That uh, by the grace of God, at least as we are moving, it's better than we are not working before. Though with compliance to safety rules and regulations as outlined by National Center for Disease Control, NCDC. Whatever the government said that we should do, we do it. We abide, maybe the motor should not be crowded, and all those things, safety measures like wearing of face masks, all those things, everything is going to be okay. We have a gadget that we use, temperature gadget, to scan passengers before they get to the bus. And any passenger that comes there will wash his or her hand with soap and get sanitized before entering inside the compound. Now they say we have to carry nine passengers against 15 passengers. Now we are collecting 12,000, 13,000 against 6,000, 7,000. The bus that carried 10 passengers, we are now carrying five instead of 10. For the passengers, government lifting of the travel ban is like a declaration of freedom from some kind of servitude. According to them, many pending engagements and business transactions will now be attended to. I've been stranded in Lagos. And also, uh, when I heard the news, I felt, ah, finally I'm free. It was terrible because during that time, we had barrier to do. But they postpone everything. If not, now the barrier is still there. The coffee is the mortuary. Is the, mortuary. the lockdown has kept me more than I expected. I came to Lagos in March 16th. Just wanted to stay one month, but now I've stayed three months and... As normalcy returns, both the government and the governed should remember to take responsibility to curb the spread of the virus. For Plus TV Africa, Francis Ubume reports.